Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, I got big news, devastating news, news that I don't quite understand. I don't understand anything. This past week was crazy, a lot of crazy things happening. It looks like we're in the Bible and the end is pretty fucking near and actually, actually war, you know? So yeah, maybe the end is near. The threat of a nuclear war is still very present and that warms my cockles. But we are not here to talk about my cockles, we are here to talk about Slipknot. Yesterday I was playing Warzone, of course losing again and again and again, because it is impossible to play with these Korean kids. And then my phone started ringing. When this thing gets active, it's like And I started receiving messages on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitch, comments on YouTube, all my friends calling. And I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck is going on? So I stopped everything and I opened Instagram to read all of those messages. And I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. I got thousands of them. And they were all saying the same thing. Oh my man, are you joining us, Libnot? Are you the new drummer? Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I like your funny words, magic man. So I open my feed and the first post that appears is from Slipknot, actually. And that's the tricky thing. That post does not exist anymore. So I'm doing this video because there are a lot of mysteries that need to be solved. Because Slipknot, as you know, is my favorite band. And it had Joey, who was my favorite drummer. I've done reactions of him. I've done reactions on Jay. You haven't seen them. You got him right there. I'm comparing both of these talents. I love how they work. I love Slipknot. I love everything. So I proceed to read the post from Slipknot. Which, by the way, as I said, doesn't exist anymore. And the post goes like this. Screenshot, baby. We would like to thank Jay Wimber for his dedication and passion over the past 10 years. No one can ever replace Joey Jordison's original sound, style or energy, but Jay honored Joey's parts and contributed to the last three albums and we, the band and the fans, appreciate it. But as ever, Slipknot is intent on evolving. The band! And this is the tricky part that I don't really get. The band has decided to make a creative decision and to part ways with Jay. So if you take all the dust from that sentence, you get the band has decided to part ways with Jay. We wish Jay all the best and we are very excited. Now, this doesn't exist anymore. Actually, in order to find it, the only thing that you can do is go to the original website from Slipknot because somehow they forgot to erase it or maybe it's intentional. I don't quite get this. However, I'm guessing and that's just my opinion. This whole video, by the way, is just going to be based on my opinion. So I'm making this video not only to tell you my opinion so you can tell me yours possible replacements whatever i want you writing down everything in there because i want to know we are three million come on guys help me i think they actually erased that because i don't think it was seen as a good gesture by the community people always expect a happy marvelous giant ending but the thing is it's never like that and the slipknot is not only a massive band but also a massive business and if they decide to part ways it goes like that it doesn't matter the show must go on right did they do anything wrong because they said it on a post that they deleted minutes after i don't know what are we expecting what are we looking for a press conference a long video i don't know i think those things are said in private and judging by the words that are used here that doesn't look like something spontaneous they've been touring the world for 10 years, it's been a decade, he's been recording albums, he's been touring for a decade with the guys. They must be pretty good friends. And if they're not pretty good friends, at least they must know each other very, very well. So all those kind of things are said in private. And I'll give you an example. Last week, Matthew Perry died. No one from the original cast of Friends said anything on Instagram. Those people understand that reality is not on Instagram. I bet they were talking to each other. I bet they all met, I bet they all grieve together, but that's not something you want to do on Instagram and it's the same thing here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what we think. What matters is what they think and I don't know, I have a feeling that they talked a lot about this and there are a lot of different possibilities that I want to read because of course I don't know all of them, but in my opinion, if there's a creative decision, maybe he was not a good fit anymore for whatever is coming, which thrills me a lot. I Actually, because does that mean that Slipknot is going to change? Obviously, the new material that was coming up was very different from what they did in the beginning. But I really liked it. And I saw them perform four months ago. I saw Jay. I saw him playing. Man, it was good. I've been reading a lot of comments of people 
throwing hate at the guy. Of course he left, he couldn't play for shit. Shut the fuck up. That's not true. I saw him. I am a good critic. Believe me, please. I've been doing this for years. It was very good. He's an awesome player. He's good. He's playing live and he's doing everything. His endurance is out of this world. He has feeling. He has everything. And it was a good fit. And that's why I feel so weird. I just don't understand this. I want to believe that there is something out there that we don't know and probably will never know that determines this fucking change because I don't understand. So the first thing, I want to interview Jay, okay? Please message the guy. Just write it down. I want to get to the bottom of this if he lets me. If I had to make a wild guess, I think I know Jay. I've been following him for a while and to me, he looks like a very honest man and he looks like a family man. And I know he got married and I know he's a great husband and I know they look very happy. So if you ask me, I think he's waiting for a baby. Maybe I'm totally out of line, but I think he's waiting for a baby. For real. I think there's something in his life that has motivated all of this change. But obviously, for obvious reasons, the band cannot just say it like that. Like, okay, we don't have a drummer anymore because he wants to form a family. It would make sense to me to have something that you find more important than a band. Because in the end, it's successful, of course, but it is just that. And that's another thing that you must understand in order to think about the whole situation. To all of us, it looks like, okay, it's crazy. Oh, massive project. Yeah, once you're inside for 10 years, ah, no, it's not like, oh, Corey Taylor, it's your buddy. It's not like, oh, Slipknot, they are your band, you know, it's like your friends. So we need to keep that in mind if we want to understand everything that's going on. Yeah. That being said, to the thousands and thousands of people that ask me, are you going to be the next drummer for Slipknot? Bitch, no. 90% of the hate that I get comes from people saying that I can do everything. And to be honest, those words never came out of my mouth. I am not the best drummer in the world. Like a bunch of comments say, like all the people doing reactions say, I'm not even the best drummer in my country. And I sincerely doubt that they would call somebody like me. Uh, when the band was formed, I wasn't even born. I don't have the knowledge or the experience to be on a band such as Slipknot. And again, I hope I'm wrong. But I don't even think they would consider me for that position. However, I think and hopefully they will see this video I think they should call Eloy Casagrande. You know Eloy Casagrande, he's the drummer for Sepultura. I've done videos on him. If you don't know him and you want to know him, I'm going to leave you the link to my reaction in there. And actually on that reaction, he's playing a Slipknot and I've never in my entire life seen anyone playing a Slipknot like that. As you know, I consider him to be the best metal drummer alive. This is just my opinion. Eloy Casagrande would be the perfect fit for a Slipknot. I should have asked him before recording this video. I would say Eloy, there's no one on planet Earth that can play metal like Eloy does. To me, feels pretty close to the way Joey would approach a Slipknot. That's my bet. I want your bets on the comments as well as the conspiracy theories. Okay, guys? Which of course depends because they are looking for a creative change. So what the fuck? Maybe they start doing greencore or pop. You never know. Stone Sour is doing pretty great and it's not new metal. It's something totally different. So maybe they are really looking for a change. I don't know. Maybe they don't have a clue of what the fuck they're going to do next. I know they were touring because I saw them, but I think that tour is over and maybe now they have time to process all the information and to think about what their next steps are going to be. Maybe we are going to see auditions on Slipknot and maybe it's going to happen the same thing that happened with Dream Theater. Maybe we are going to see how the best drummers in the world go to a studio to do an audition and try to be a part of the band, which by the way, would be great. I would love to see that, but I know Eloy would win, but I would love to see that for real. And by the way, talking about Dream Theater, a lot of things have happened last week. Mike Pornoy is back on Dream Theater. You know, they gave the old hoo-ha to Mike Mangini and now Mike Pornoy is back. And I'm just kidding. They did it like gentlemen, you know. Oh, thank you so much for doing all of this this but now we're going back to the original and apparently there are rumors that there's going to be a metropolis part i don't know 15 already i don't even count them it's like the final fantasy video games they're all good i don't give a shit so yeah i would like to take a moment just to talk about that yeah mike porno is back and they're going to release an album and i'm not missing that album for the world so mike is a good friend mike is a terrific guy mike is a very funny guy very humble guy but again this is a video about a slipknot and i just wanted to cover a lot of questions so 
no, I am not the next drum. I, I don't even know. I don't even know if there are going to be auditions. So no, I'm not the next drummer for a Slimknot. I don't even know if there is going to be an audition. The way they parted ways with Jay, I don't understand. And it's very mysterious because as I told you, they have deleted the post. There's no information available anywhere outside. No, I got no fucking idea why they erased it. I think it was because there was a bad response from all the fans all over the world. I got no idea who's going to be next. I want your opinions on the comments. And of course, if you know anything about auditions, let me know because I want to record that. I want to see that. I want to do something with that. I need to know that. And last but not least, I got no fucking idea of what happened and probably we will never have any fucking idea of what happened because apparently that was the way they chose to say goodbye so if i can find any way to talk to jay i will and i will show all of you the video of course i will upload it to this channel but guys right now the future of a slim knot is totally uncertain nobody on planet earth knows apart from them so with all of that being said, thank you so much for staying here and I wanted to take a little minute of your time to say that last week one of my favorite drummers ever, Aaron Spears, uh, passed away. I just wanted to pay my respects to him and to his family. He was one of the best drummers in the history of music. He was an incredible husband, incredible father. I've never met anybody who said anything bad about him and he's no longer with us. Unfortunately, he was very young and he left us at a early age and there's nothing we can do about it however I've never seen a response of that magnitude on the drumming community everyone paid their respects to Aaron and I wanted to do it myself too so your legacy carries on and that's all that matters that being said take care guys please I hope you're doing great and I really hope to see you all on the next videos stay safe and take care bye